I had fleas before back when I was like a teenager and child, no. actually a little hot it's like 65 degrees and coming from Ohio and Michigan and all that just last week was the snowstorm where I was pretty much like telling you guys all that it's just crazy that I'm now like sweating and I had to turn my AC on we're about to head back to the north it's short-lived but I'm appreciating it while I can we just dropped off our loaded trailer and now we're picking up an empty I just sent my empty message to the uh, fleet manager and now they're giving me my next load and I can't lie y'all these loads have been pretty good as you can see I'm in Arkansas that's about 800 miles from where I stay I drove for about two days and now I'm here and now I'm about to go right back to where I was at. So that's another 800 miles plus the, the deadhead miles from here to the next shipper. Like this is, this ain't bad. You know what I'm saying? So I'm excited. Today has been good. Yesterday has been good. The day before yesterday has been good. And I can't lie, the last few weeks 
have not been. Not to say that they weren't good, but they weren't like how it feels now. And the worst part about it is, I think the reason why is because I got such a long haul load and I'm about to get another one. I think the long hauls is, is what I miss the most. Cause when I was driving over the road, I would get a thousand low, a thousand mile low here or 800 mile low here or sometimes even 1300 miles here like i did have the 200 miles and the 400 miles but most times than not they were giving me a load across the country hence 48 states now that i'm driving regional i get shorter loads i think my highest is this 800 mile load the breezes that i've just been driving it's like 65 degrees out here so like to just drive and be in good weather too. Like I'm not driving in snow, sleet, hail. I'm driving in good weather. Like it, it, it hasn't even rained. So I'm about to go ahead. You guys know I write on my um on my little thing. And when I get my paperwork, this is the paperwork that has all my load info on it. Correct? I'm not showing you just because I don't I don't want to out nothing. This paperwork has all my load info on it. When I receive the load is when I receive this paperwork. And then when I go to drop off the load, which I just did now, I give them one copy of this paperwork and then I keep the other copy. And so right now I have this copy for the sake of turning it in so that I can get paid for this load. They normally sign it or since I'm at Walmart, they gave me a, a sticker that they put on here. And it pretty much just means that the load has been received. So what I do, which it doesn't mean that you have to do it, but what I do is I take the info that I wrote. Sorry, there's somebody driving by. I take the info that I wrote on my sticky note and I attach it to this paper so that when I am turning my paperwork in, they have an app where I go on the app, I take a picture of this paperwork and I have to um, put in the trip number and things like that. This paperwork does not have my trip number because the trip number is with the company, not with the, 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 um, the DC. So I sort of need both of these sheets of paper in order to accurately put out my trip um, my trip sheet and my bill of lading sheet. And that's what this is called, a bill of lading. Y'all, I'm sorry. It's probably a little confusing, but just know that between what the company gives me info on and what the load info is, I need both of these sheets of paper to send to my company to get paid for. So I, I write all my load info on my sticky note so that it can be um, stuck onto the paper that I end up scanning and sending to my company. And then I have this, this is super dirty, but, but it, it, I mean, it's trucking. It, this is as organized as I'm gonna get cause I'm not the most organized person, obviously. But, um, so I have this, right? And what I do is I have my trip, my trip um, envelope here. I can't really show you guys cause it has a bunch of info on it. But this was my last load. And now this is my current load that I just completed. I put them in um, numerical order and then I put them inside of this. So um, that's how I get paid. I don't know if, 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 if I even said that before, but you turn in paperwork to get paid. So let me go ahead and write this stuff down. <laughs> this shipper I've never been here before okay so we're dropping our empty trailer off for some reason my phone was malfunctioning but um I was pretty much talking to her and she told me that my load was not ready yet so um it's still in the dock I'm gonna go ahead drop this empty and then I'm gonna go to dock eight Okay, so we just came from outside. I'm so sorry, I was supposed to get that footage, but my phone ran out of storage. Something is weird about my phone where if it runs out of storage, it won't save whatever it was recording. Cause it was recording when I was out there, but then I come back to the camera and it's not um, recording anymore and it deleted the footage, so sorry. She did so good, she peed and she pooped and it only took about 10 minutes. So I, I'm starting to realize like she's not feeling using the bathroom in a truck anymore and she likes being outside. I have to get some wipes for her feet. 
I did used to have them, but because she was using the bathroom inside of the truck, I wasn't using them as frequently. So I stopped buying them, especially since, you know, a dog is actually pretty expensive when you have the puppy pads, you have the food. And Pepper has three different types of food that I mix together. She has wet dog food, dry dog food, and then a stew that goes on top for extra health. And so I'm purchasing three different meals or three different uh, portions of food. I had to buy her some clippers because I was tired of going to get her clipped at the, at the um, I guess, doggy salon, whatever. I shaved her for the first time successfully. The first time I clipped her, it was... I used the $10 pair of clippers from Petco and it was trash like I did so bad but this time um, it took me about an hour and a half and I was super itchy after because of her hair all over me but thankfully I did fairly well the only thing I would definitely need to do better on is her feet and her face just because she gets really antsy around those areas especially near her eyes but her hair grows real rough around her eyes. So that's something I gotta work on. I could tell her mood has changed. She definitely appreciates going outside at least twice a day. So that's what we've been doing. I haven't had any accidents. I, I think I said that in the last clip. I do have to go and get some extended vaccines for her just because um, she got majority of them, but because she's gonna be going outside more frequently now that I'm realizing, and on top of that, she's in different states. I don't want her to get sick, nor do I want her to bring anything in here. And that was another reason why I was hesitant to have her come outside every time she had to use the bathroom. Cause I, I don't want her to bring no ticks in here. I don't want her to get any ticks on her own self. I don't want her to get like any worms or anything like that. And I don't want her to bring in fleas. I had fleas before back when I was like a teenager and child no you guys wanted to see pepper um her face is a little scruffy just because i struggle in that area but here she is my baby and look at how big she is my chunky monkeys my pooh bear on another tip she just turned one years old in february well it's still february but february 2nd that was her one year birthday her first birthday and i'm such a terrible mom i didn't realize that her birthday passed until the 8th of february i was like dang my baby about to be one years old and then i was like wait her birthday is on the second and i'm like oh my god it's the eighth I feel so bad. So we're gonna try again next year. Anyways, I've talked for like eight minutes. Um, so I'm about to go ahead, unhook from this trailer, hop in front of my other trailer, give me something to eat cause I'm hungry. She used the bathroom, so I got her set. I need to use the bathroom. Hopefully there's a bathroom where I just came from. I wasn't paying attention. All right, real quick. They just finished with my load, but I forgot I gotta eat. And so, I got this I do not believe in like TV dinners and anything like that really being healthy no matter how enticing it may sound as far as like healthy choice or lean cuisine or whatever like I don't trust it it's still like you know processed food so I'm not really eating it for the healthiness of it I'm really eating it for the convenience and if I were to choose one of those like banquet uh, like TV dinners or something like that, I would choose a healthier option. This was the chicken linguine and red pepper alfredo. I had three of these in my truck. They go in the freezer and then when you take them out the box, you put them in the microwave for about five minutes and then there's a strainer in here. You literally take it and it's inside the strainer and you put it in the bowl. So I'm gonna put this in a microwave while I'm backing into the, the tractor. I mean, I'm sorry, the trailer and then I'm gonna go ahead and hook up and by the time I finish hooking up, this should be finished. Okay, so it's much later in the day. You probably can't even see me anymore, but it is 5.51, but I'm in central time. So it's actually 6.51 in my hometown. But, um, excuse me, get down. Ciao. Anyways, I'm about to eat. I don't eat after 7 p.m. and I don't eat before 11 a.m. That's just something that I've been trying to get on and so far it's been pretty good. But um, so I only have like nine minutes left. 
But I just have a little bit of chicken. I started paying my brother to cook for me. He cooked my chicken and this is, I believe, jollof rice. I don't know, it's, it's yellow rice. And then I just have some Chick-fil-A sauce. So yeah, that's what I'm eating right now. I know you can't see me, so I am going to end this video off here. I am stopped at a TA right now, and it is pretty hectic in this parking lot. There's trucks everywhere trying to find a spot, and thankfully, I got here in the nick of time and got me a nice spot where I'm practically right like in front of the the door i'm letting pepper eat i need her to hurry up and eat so that we can go and do our last little lap outside give her some time to use the bathroom that's all for that i'm gonna go ahead and finish eating and i will see you guys in the next video i love y'all so much thank you for your support